So here we have a fraction question, algebraic fractions. There's letters involved. We have to find a single fraction answer for 3 over a squared minus 2 over a. Now to think about what we would do in a case like this, let's consider, suppose a was 5. Suppose we had 3 over 5 squared, 25 minus 2 over 5. What would you do in a case like this? Well, you know if there's 3 25ths and you're taking away 2 fifths, you can't take away fifths from 20 fifths. You'd have to get them all, in this case, into 20 fifths. You'd have to say, well, there's 3 20 fifths and, OK, let's get that into 20 fifths. Multiply top and bottom by 5. In effect, you're taking the two-fifths and multiplying it by one in the form of five over five, which does not change a number. Two-fifths will still remain as two-fifths if you multiply it by one. So multiplying top and bottom by the same number is OK. So we would have three twenty-fifths minus ten twenty-fifths. And now you can subtract them. There's three of them minus ten of them. Three minus ten. 25ths. It's minus 7 of them. Negative 7 of them. So the crucial stage here is to get the denominators the same. Get the denominators the same. And in this case, to get a squared there, we would have to multiply by a. And balancing by multiplying the top by a. That's like taking your 2 over a and multiplying it by a over a, which is just another way of writing 1. So the second stage of this, we're looking at three lots of a squareds and two a lots of a squareds. So we do have the same denominator, so we can say how many of these a squareds do we have? We've got three of them minus 2a of them. And that's just the same as this step here, where we had 3 25ths minus 10 25ths, so we'll have 3 minus 10 of them, 3 minus 2a of them. And there's not much else you can do with that. That is in its simplest form.